Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today, we're going to talk about the jacking gear. We intentionally did not talk about this in last week's video where we briefly walked through the engine rooms because it wasn't a brief walk through the engine rooms. It ended up being like 40 minutes and I got the wave off from the production crew. Uh, at the end of the day, the jacking gear is a smaller component of the turbine unit and the reduction box. So we decided to just leave it. However, we got a ton of comments uh, about the jacking gear. I suspect it's a bunch of people who watched the Cooley get killed by it in the sand pebbles. Um, so, let's talk about the jacking gear today. Each of the engines on Battleship New Jersey, each of the reduction boxes, has a jacking gear attached. The jacking gear does a number of things. When we are stopped, like we are now, it's what keeps the propeller from spinning, say as the tide's going by, it's acting on the propeller. That spinning would go all the way down the shaft, all the way through the reduction box, uh, even up to the turbine blades. So you don't necessarily want that when you've got the system shut down. Especially uh, given that, hey, maybe we've got this open, we're doing work in there, I've got my hands inside this thing, and now these gears are moving. And that's what happens in the sand pebbles. The, the coolie is down there working on something and the uh, jacking gear slips which causes the, him to be sucked into the gears and killed, which then sets off uh, a major part of the plot of sand pebbles. That is just one small part of what the jacking gear does. It's also important for when we're starting the ship up. Prior to starting to spin everything at high speed as we get underway, we want to get the lubricating oil into the system so that the, it's coating the gears fully, so that there's no uh, grinding of the gears or overheating, anything like that. So, check this out. This is the lube oil tank for the reduction box in uh, number two engine room. Give me a drip pan, we need to change the oil on this thing. Holy cow, look, look at the size of that. It is uh, more than a curator tall, you can see it goes through the deck here. It is uh, about a curator's wingspan. This is a big tank of oil. So, before we start the engine up, we will often start the jacking gear, which is an electric motor that's going to start rotating the reduction gears at about 2 RPM. And that is going to allow the oil to coat the whole system, get it all lubricated so that you're ready to go. Likewise, as you shut down the ship, Let's say it's uh, 1990, we're going cold iron before we go into the dry dock, and then the ship's going to be decommissioned, and then uh, one day she might be brought out of mothballs and used again. So we want the plant to still function when it's brought back into service again. The turbines are getting hit with 850 degree superheated steam. It's pretty hot, right? The turbine blades are all sitting on a central shaft so that as the steam hits them and spins them, it's spinning that shaft, and that shaft then goes into the reduction box, uh, which goes through the reduction gears and then into the propeller shaft. Cool? The shaft that they're all sitting on, as you can imagine, is pretty hot at this point. You've just been operating it under speed uh, at, with 850 degrees steam. So you shut it down, cold iron. Well, now this red hot shaft that is supporting all of the weight of these blades that's normally spinning is stationary. So the weight of the uh, blades in the turbines will cause the shaft to sag and warp out of alignment. So now you try to uh, turn your turbines on again and it starts to spin. There's not enough room in the casing for it to spin. You, you've just destroyed your engines. They won't work anymore. So, likewise, as you're cooling the plant down, once you've stopped putting steam into the system, you continue to run the jacking gear, again, at that, about two RPM. That's gonna keep the whole system turning until the uh, temperature inside drops to the point where the blades aren't gonna warp anymore. So what's the most important life lesson you've learned from a Steve McQueen movie? Mine is that uh, jacking gears are very important. Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from a number of businesses and private individuals. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to continue donating to support the museum and our channel.
You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about the museum. Thanks for watching.